Hello and welcome to the next Cracker Pack episode. Today we are opening up a pack of Conspiracy Take the Crown. This is actually a personal favorite set of mine. I've opened a lot of this, something like 10 or 12 boxes of this. Uh, there's a lot of really strong stuff in here. Uh, reprint wise, there's Berserk and Show and Tell, both of which are fantastic. Uh, but sitting at the top of the list, we do have Leovold, Emissary of Trust. Uh, this card broke Commander. Uh, not single-handedly, but very close. And uh, also, it's a mainstay now in Sultai decks all across Legacy. Uh, fantastic, absolutely great card. We are going to look at this from a draft standpoint, so we'll see. And this actually should be really interesting because it's a made for draft. Uh, so we'll see what we can actually pull and hopefully see what we would uh, use as our first pick. Uh, so we'll start off, obviously, with our commons, Absorb this. Uh, target player loses four life and you gain four life. You can also basic land cycle it for one in a black. The actual cost is six in a black, which is a lot. Uh, but because you can actually land cycle this, this is not a terrible card. It's not something I would actually want necessarily. Uh, but if I ended up with having to play one or two, really just one, uh, I would be okay with it. <coughs> Excuse me. Traumatic Visions, counter target spell for three and two blue, and you can also basic land cycle it. This is much better than Absorb this in my mind, uh, but again, it's not really a card that I'm super excited to play. If I'm in the blue tempo deck, I would like to have it, but other than that, probably not. Hurly Burly is a sorcery for one and a red. You can choose one. It deals one damage to each creature without flying or one damage to each creature with flying. Uh, this is not that great, I don't think. Um, I don't remember exactly if tokens were a huge deal in this set, but uh, it, it just doesn't seem all that great to me. Uh, Driver of the Dead is a 3-2 for 4. When it dies, return target creature card with converted mana cost 2 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. I actually don't mind this card, especially so far. This is definitely on the radar. Uh, it's not great by any means, but it does replace itself, hopefully, uh, assuming you meet the, uh, the requirement of having a creature in your graveyard. Uh, it does meet that, and it does replace itself, so, so far that's kind of on my list. Uh, Lace with the moon, with moon Glove, excuse me. Uh, two and a green for an instant target creature gains death touch until end of turn, and draw a card. Uh, this is okay. It's a little bit high-costed for a combat trick, but it does replace itself, and it does mean that kind of no matter what, you're going to be able to, to at least trade off a creature. Um, so I, I don't love it though, to be honest, it's a little bit too high for a, a combat trick in my mind. Uh, reviving dose two and a white for an instant, you gain three life and draw a card, not exciting at all in my mind. Uh, life gain is generally not the best strategy for limited, uh, borderland explorer three and three one, excuse me for, uh, two. And when it enters the battlefield, each player may discard a card. Each player who discarded a card this way may search his or her library for a basic land, reveal it, and put it into his or her hand, and then shuffle their library. I don't mind this card. It's a 3-1 body for 2, which is okay. Uh, and it does kind of, it's sort of a group hug thing, but you are going to be playing in a pod. Uh, if you don't know, with Conspiracy, you play with, I believe it's at minimum 4 people at the same time. Uh, and so I think this is actually a worthwhile card. Uh, I would probably take that over the driver uh, at this point. Uh, Opaline Unicorn, a 1-2 for 3, and you can tap it to add any mana, a uh, mana of any color to your mana pool. Absolutely nothing wrong with this card. I think it's perfectly fine. I don't think it's first pickable, but it's, it's I mean, it's mana ramp and any color, which is kind of nice. <laughs> um, uh, Sinus Vermin, I uh, hope I'm saying that correctly, a 2-2 two, two for 2. Rat Horror for 3 and 2 black, you can Monstrosity 3 it, which means uh, if it isn't monstrous, it gets 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters and becomes monstrous, so you can't repeat that. Uh, as long as it is monstrous, it has Menace. This is actually not a bad card. Um, it's a 2-2 two, two for 2, which is fine, and then it has upside if it lives. Uh, 9 times out of 10, it will not, but it is something that they do have to deal with. Um, kind of in for that. Uh, Kill Shot is a great combat uh combat trick to basically remove something uh, so two and a white instant destroy target attacking creature it digs you out of a hole uh, nine times out of ten though it's not going to be as good as you probably think it is uh, only because they do have to be attacking uh, so the, our first uncommon is fang of the pack a five three for six with melee when this creature attacks it gets plus one plus one until end of turn for each opponent you attacked with a creature this combat Again, playing off of that, um, the pod sort of aspect of it, you can actually attack multiple people with different creatures and give this a big boost. 
Uh, at the beginning of combat on your turn, another target creature you control gains melee, so it actually gives something else melee too. This definitely shot to the front so far. Uh, Hank, Haven Ghoul Vampire, a 2-2 two, two for 4. When it deals combat damage to a player, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, which is great. Whenever another creature dies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it as well. Uh, this is a good card, but it's easily removed. Um, it takes a little bit of time to actually get it going. I think so far I would rather have the Fang of the Pack. Deceiver Exarch, uh, this is a great card in, well, it was a great card in Modern. Uh, it's a 1-4 for 3 with Flash. When it enters the battlefield, choose one. Uh, untap target permanent you control or tap a target permanent and opponent controls. This was a good Modern card uh, at one time with Splinter Twin, but not that exciting in this draft format. And then our Rare... Uh, Covenant of Mines. So four and a blue for a sorcery. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. Target opponent may choose to put those cards into your hand. If he or she doesn't, put those cards into your graveyard and draw five cards. So hugely, hugely powerful. Uh, but I think I would much rather stick with the creatures just because uh, nine times out of ten you're going to be wanting to, to board stall a little bit. That being said, uh, this is a pod, and so there are going to be times where games last a little bit longer. It might be that Covenant of the Mines is the pick, and I just am mistaken on that. Uh, because the games are going to go longer, you're going to get more time to do that. Um, so this is a unique card to this set, as well as the original Conspiracy. These are actual Conspiracy cards. Assemble the Rank and Vile. It is a hidden agenda, so when you actually start the game, you put this face down in the Conspiracy Zone. <coughs> Uh, creatures you control with a chosen name, which you will choose that name when you draft this card. Uh, when this creature have, when this creature dies, you may pay one black. If you do, put a two twos black zombie creature token onto the battlefield tapped. I think these are fine. These are actually really fun to play with. This is not one of the best, uh, and so I don't think it would be my pick. I think it's really between these two, and I think I would go for the Fang of the Pack. That's just my personal opinion because I would rather have a creature than a big card draw spell. Um, but yeah, definitely interesting. Let me know what you guys think. If you agree, you disagree, let me know. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, and if you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. But until the next one, guys, we will see you later. Thank you so much for watching.